Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the new movie, Jesus Revolution. The synopsis is as follows. In the 1970s, Greg Laurie and a sea of young people descend on sunny Southern California to redefine truth through all means of liberation. Inadvertently, Laurie meets a charismatic street preacher and a pastor who opens the doors to a church to a stream of wandering youth. What unfolds is a counterculture movement that becomes the greatest spiritual awakening in American history. So without further ado, let's get into the six things that make a movie great. One, the plot. Pastor Chuck Smith, played by Kelsey Grammer, is the head of a very traditional church that has an older congregation and honestly is dying out. When all of a sudden, his daughter happens to meet a man named Lonnie Frisbee. Lonnie is a hippie turned street preacher who realized that all of these people who are chasing after drugs, alcohol, sex, were really just in search of the truth and his pursuit led him to God. While Chuck is very hesitant at first to open up his church to these people, eventually he does and it starts the Jesus Revolution. The easiest way to look at this movie is in three acts. The first act has to do with Pastor Chuck Smith, his failing church, and the start of the Jesus Revolution. The second act surrounds Lonnie Frisbee and his huge role in making the Jesus Revolution take flight. The third act is about Greg Laurie and him coming to fruition in his character arc and where he is today. And if you go into the movie with that mindset in place of that's the way this movie is going to play out, I feel like it would make it a lot more easy to understand. Because the way that this movie is promoted, advertised, and given synopsis about makes it look like this entire movie is about Greg Laurie, and it's not. A lot of movies as of late have been saying based on a true story and then show us a complete work of fiction. This movie doesn't do that. It tells the story exactly as it happened, and I'm 100% supportive of that. The only natural but inevitable drawback with that is some slower moments of the film. So while I'm glad that they stayed telling the truth, I feel like the storytelling could have been a little bit more coherent. All in all, I think they did a good job. So for me, plot gets a thumbs up. To his family friendliness. Jesus Revolution is rated PG-13. There is no profanity in this movie, no sexuality, no sensuality. There's a handful of scenes of drug use and scary situations involving drugs. Those scenes are just something to be aware of if you're wanting to go see this movie. And while those are more mature things to deal with, I think they did it in such a way that wasn't over the top. So use your discretion, but to me, family friendliness gets a thumbs up. Three is acting the script. I thought the acting in this movie was pretty good. I'm a huge fan of Kelsey Grammer and I've been watching Frasier since I was a child. And while his acting performance was good, I just feel like he wasn't in this movie enough. But I honestly can't tell if that's because the movie actually needed more of him or because I just selfishly wanted to see him on screen more. Jonathan Rumi and Joel Courtney are no strangers to the movie screen and I think they did a good job in this movie. I also really liked Allie Knight's performance as she plays the daughter of Chuck Smith. I thought she did a really good job with her performance and her lines were delivered really well. And the script of this movie was good as well. This movie went to depths that I didn't think it was going to. To avoid ambiguity, specifically what I'm talking about is the power struggle between ego and a pastor letting God speak through them. Uncomfortable, but honest. And I like that about this movie. So for me, acting the script, get a thumbs up. Forest character development. One of the things that contributed to this movie seeming a bit choppy at times was that in each of these characters' arcs, there were very abrupt changes to their perception or personality. For a couple examples, it seemed like Pastor Chuck's transition from traditional to open and loving was just so fast that it didn't seem realistic. In Lonnie Frisbee's character arc, there's a very fast character change that takes place that, again, didn't feel very natural to me. And there were different points in the relationship between Greg and Lori where things seemed very sped up or very quick changes were made in their relationship. And I think the main reason why that is is because this movie doesn't have a concept of timeline that's able to be understood by the audience. It seems like these things are just happening over a week or a couple weeks even. But this process was a lot longer than that. But because there's no concept of that in the film, it makes it seem like all these things are happening back to back to back to back. And the area you feel that most is with character development. And while you do care about the characters, these drastic changes that their personalities go through make it hard to identify with them because of how fast they're happening. So while it wasn't horrible, it was definitely one of the areas where this film could have improved. So for me, character development gets a 50-50. Five is visuals and CGI. If there was CGI in this movie, there wasn't a ton of it, so I don't really feel like there's much to talk about there. I thought the visuals in this movie were decent. In a couple different sequences, they tried their hand at making some stylistic choices to show what was going on, and I thought they did a pretty good job. It didn't distract from the film, and it did show the effect of what they were trying to do. So for me, visuals and CGI get a thumbs up. And six is rewatchability. Jesus Revolution is two hours long, 
And like I mentioned before, it feels a bit long just due to the nature of the natural progression of life. The fact of the matter is that for me, this movie is a milestone in the area of Christian cinema. To be completely honest with you, Christian movies have always been extremely cheesy and low budget and not really well produced. And to me, this film is very, very close to being just as well produced as a secular one. I thought they did a good job with it, and at the end of the day, I enjoyed what I saw on screen. And the reason why I can even critique it objectively is because they did such a good job with it. It's not a movie that I would watch regularly, but it is one that I think people would see and enjoy every once in a while. So for me, rewatchability gets a 50-50. With all these areas considered, I have to give Jesus Revolution a 7.5 out of 10. The storytelling and character development of this film definitely could have been a bit better. But this movie had good acting performances, a conscious script that went places I didn't think it was going to go, and it was historically accurate to what really happened during an incredible movement in American history. When it comes to whether to go see this movie in theaters, if you're a Christian or this movement is one that matters to you, you probably will want to go support it and experience it in theaters. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen Jesus Revolution, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your love and support, and I'll catch you guys and guys in the next one.